Assalamu alaikum, welcome to this video tutorial and in this video we are going to learn the causes of variation. Previously we learned about uh, the different types of variation and about the variations. So in this video we are going to learn about the causes of the variation. As keeping in mind the previous videos also where we discussed about uh, the types of variation, we can say that variation can be inherited or it can be due to environment. It means we can say it's the environmental variation or inherited variation. So in this video we are going to talk about uh, environmental variation. How environment can affect the variation. So let's begin. First of all, uh, the environment can affect the features of a living organism and uh, mostly it is visible during the season or with the change of environment these features will change also. For example, uh, seedling of a plant grow in dark like if we grow a seedling in the dark atmosphere so it will have a different feature than the one grown in the light. They will be different than each other. There will be variation in them. Now this variation is because of the amount of the light as in our previous lesson we took the examples of the apple, apple grown on the different uh, places within the same tree were different. So in the same way if we will grow a seedling uh, in a dark place and the other in a light place there will be variation in them. Like those grown in the dark will be tall, spindly and have yellow leaves. Their leaves will not turn green because they are not getting the sunlight and without sunlight their leaves will not turn green. But the one that will grow in the light will have shorter but uh, firmer stem. His stem will be strong and will have the larger leaves and the leaves will be green. So that is uh, a difference within the same. If you will take the same species of the uh, plant and grow it one in the dark and other in the light, you will find the visible differences between them. Okay. Uh, also, lack of mineral in the soil can affect the color and structure of the leaves. Now, the minerals, amount of minerals in any soil is from the environment. So, it means this environmental change will affect uh, the structure and color of the leaves as well. For example, if we take the example uh, uh, like the presence of uh, lime, sorry, uh, by mistake I write lime, is lime. So the presence of lime in the soil uh, affects the color of the flowers. Like you can see right now, uh, here this is one of the flower and uh, yeah, this flower here right now is in the blue color. Now the same type of the flower belong to the same category is having the pink color here. Sorry, uh, yeah, it's a pink color here. Now, this difference, they belong to the same type, same category, but this difference is arising from the different amount of uh, mineral in the soil. If the soil uh, <coughs> contains uh, lime, the flowers are pink, and if the soil is lime free, the flowers will be blue. In the same way, the color of flamingos is affected by the environment. Now flamingos, you are very aware about the flamingos. Like right now you can see here, uh, these flamingos in the diagram, they have a pink color, their feathers are pink. But with the change of environment, uh, they change their color. Sometimes they completely turn to the white color as well. Now what is the reason behind that? The reason behind them, the reason behind uh, their changing uh, uh, color of their uh, wings or changing color of their body is because of uh, the environment. No, the environment it depends on the environment they are living. Uh, they will eat the food. For example, they they get you know, the food. They eat shrimps. If they get sufficient shrimps, so the pigments in the shrimps will uh, change them uh, to the pink color. But if they will not get enough shrimps, then their wings and feathers will change to the white color because now they are not getting enough uh, shrimps. So it depends on what they are taking. 
this is an environmental change if you can say flamingo feed on shrimps that uh, possess a pink pigment the pigment passes uh, into the feathers and makes the flamingo pink but on the other hand when flamingos don't eat enough shrimps their feathers become white so this change is an environmental change that is making the differences in them so it means we can say the environment plays a very important role in some plants and some animals so in our next lesson we will see how the food can affect and can bring uh, the variations in different plants and animals so see you next time goodbye